What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, oh, we got some beautiful products to look at. We've got some beautiful products to look at. The lovely folks who are over at Transformers TCG Towers. And I call them lovely folks, and they are lovely folks. They're proving that they're lovely folks, because they sent me the San Diego Comic-Con stuff. These products, which are only available at the San Diego Comic-Con, well, no, that's not strictly true. The Omnibots in the convention-exclusive pack are only available at San Diego Comic-Con. The Blaster vs. Soundwave deck, in the US, it was exclusively for convention, San Diego Comic-Con, and a couple of others. In Europe, it has been made available for a brief window. And now we get to open them. So thank you to the lovely folks over at Transformers TCG Towers. And we're going to start off with the Omnibot pack. So we'll pop this one over to one side for a moment. We'll get there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get there. Now, this is a pack that was only available at San Diego Comic-Con. It did get sold on Hasbro Pulse, the website, for a brief period of time. But by the same token, it um doesn't ship outside of the US and Canada. So, hey-ho. Oh, and here's what we get, ladies and gentlemen. Private camshaft. Sergeant Overdrive and Private Downshift. Every single one of these packs has the same three characters in. Now, they make their own deck. So, Private Downshift starts off at the start of your first turn. You may play a weapon on an Omnibot. Sergeant Overdrive. At the start of your first turn, you may play a utility onto one of your Omnibots. And you probably won't be surprised to hear that Private Camshaft, at the start of your first turn, you may play an armor onto one of your Omnibots. Now, of course, if you don't start the game with one of each of them, you don't get full value and it never comes back. That is sad, but hey-ho. Now, in the bot mode, when one of your Omnibots attacks with a weapon attached, it gets bold one. Until the end of battle, equal to number of Omnibots you have. I.e., hopefully bold free. And then Sergeant Overdrive. If they've got a utility attached, they get focus. Equal to number of Omnibots you've got. With a utility. Yes, excellent. So it is only each one with a utility. So you've got to get all three Omnibots with a utility to get focus free, which is a bit of a pain. Um, and then camshaft, each one that's got an armor, you get tough equal to the Omnibots with an armor. Now, they're a bit awkward to actually get rolling. They're a bit awkward to actually use. You need to start with a weapon, an armor, and a utility to get full value from them. And if I'm honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how often you're actually going to be able to do that, which is a slight bit of a pain. And then... You know, they really come into their own. If you can get a weapon, an upgrade, and a utility onto each of them, they become really good. They've all got bold free, focus free, and tough free. But I'll be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, that that becomes quite awkward quite quickly. Having said that, these are not easy to get cards in Europe. Now, in the US, yeah, fine. You can go to San Diego Comic Con. You can order them on Hasbro Pulse. Outside of the US, when you get over into Europe, they are not easy ones to get hold of. Now, the coolest thing, as we move on to the Soundwave and Blaster deck, it's Gen 1 artwork. It is proper job Gen 1 artwork. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is. Now, this exact same set has actually been released. Oh, no, that's a lie. It hasn't quite... Has it been released? Is today the release date? I'm not entirely sure. What I can tell you is if they haven't been released, they are going to be released. And it is an exact copy of this set. Hopefully easier to open. The only difference is that they come with modern rather than Gen 1 artwork. Oh, I was trying to open this so nicely and it's turned into a disaster. Hey ho, ladies and gentlemen. Hey ho. There we go. It's still alive. And what you get... Now, this is a pre-made deck, all right? There's no surprises coming along with this deck. And they're built around Soundwave and Blaster. Now, I say deck, but deck is a little bit disingenuous. There are two decks. 
a Blaster deck, a full 40-card deck with characters, and a Soundwave deck, a full 40-card deck with characters. Now, according to the early results from tournaments that we've seen, Blaster is better. We saw Blaster doing very well at the PAX Invitational qualifier in at Gen Con, when this was first available. We've seen it topping a couple of tournaments since. We've seen it winning uh, one of the qualifiers in the UK. Soundwave, as far as I'm aware, has done nothing, like nothing at all. Now, they both work on mini cassettes, so your starting star limit is increased by one for every micro cassette on your starting team, and they all start under it. So you can have, with their 10 star characters, 5 star cassettes, you can actually have a 28 star deck. It's full on cheating. Now, Blaster, as far as I'm concerned, is the better of the two. When you flip to bot mode, you deploy a mini cassette from under it. And then you may play the top card of your deck, which is pretty awesome. Soundwave, again, when you flip into bot mode, you deploy a mini cassette. And then you can look at your opponent's hand, choose a card from it, and put it on the bottom of their deck. Generally speaking, extra actions is better than a little bit of hand disruption. Now, we then move on to all of the little dudes, and you get three little dudes for each of them. I'm not going to go into hideous detail about all of these. I have done videos about these decks. I'll link them in the description. But what you can see from the opening here, oh, I dropped one of the decks, is that you get a full team and a full deck for each of them. Full 40-card deck full team. Now, you don't have to play them as teams, right? You can play Blaster with Ramhorn, Steeljaw, and Eject. You can play Soundwave with Buzzsaw, Ravage, and Frenzy. Or you can not. And there are other mini cassettes out there, and we assume there will be more in the future. So something to bear in mind. Eject stops enemies using Bold. Steeljaw gives Bold 1, and it also has... It has bold one and it gives it to your characters with 10 stars or more. Ramhorn, when it defends, you may play a white armor. And then if we go over into alt mode, eject. Well, they all have stealth. Eject when you flip to this mode, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and scrap them if you like. So if you're about to attack, for instance, and they are blue cards, get rid of them, try and get some orange cards. Steel Jaw, when you flip to this mode, each of your characters gets bold one until end of turn. And Ramhorn, when you flip to this mode, you may move an armor from one of your characters to another. Remember, if it's something like Armed Hovercraft, an armor which deals one damage to each of your opponent's characters when you attach it, moving it will activate it. Having a look at Soundwave's buddies, Frenzy says your enemies can't use tough. Ravage has PS2 and each of your characters with 10 stars or more gets tough one. And Buzzsaw, when you attack, you may play a blue weapon. So you can see that they are largely analogous to the blaster cards. They've all got stealth in alt mode. All of the cassettes do. And Frenzy, when you flip to this mode, your opponent reveals top two cards. You may have your opponent scrap them. Ravage, when you flip to this mode, one of your characters gets PS2. Until end of turn. And Volsal, when you flip to this mode, you may move a weapon. From one of your characters to another. So you can see that there are clear similarities there between them. The key point from the opening here. Is that you do get full teams. And you get a full 40 card deck. Now the decks are not out and out phenomenal. If you play these. You will want to play with a few changes. You're not going to want to play them as exact 40 card decks. But they are a very good starting point. The most important point of these decks is that there are some cards, some exclusive cards in these decks, which cannot be found elsewhere. Cool. Now, as with all good starter decks, we've got some damage counters here. They're not the largest, most impressive damage counters ever. They're starter deck damage counters, and they'll get you started off. If you want to go all fancy, do feel free to... Go and buy yourself nicer ones. So, we have three copies of Buzzsaw, or, excuse me, Buzzsaw Ravage Frenzy Attack. That is an exclusive card. We need three of them. We got Inner Groove, three copies. That's an exclusive one. 
Intercept Communications, free copies, that's an exclusive one. And Recover Cassette, free copies, that's an exclusive one. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's the key point of these decks. There are three, there are four exclusive cards in the Soundwave deck, and they are all given as free offs. That's key. We then have three copies of Blast Shield, three copies of, excuse me, two copies of Piercing Blaster, three copies of Escape Route, three copies of Handheld Blaster. Great that it's a double blue pip, but it is a common. Three copies of Pep Talk, which is quite nice draw power. Three copies of Scoundrel's Blaster. Three copies of Calculated Strike. Three copies of Dismantle. Three copies of Smoke Cloak. And two copies of Steady Shot, along with the aforementioned damage counters. You have a complete deck. Key point here, play sets of the exclusive cards. That is the absolute most important point here. It's a deck that's built around Pierce and Blue, but then again, we could tell from the characters that that was going to be the case. So that's quite nice. As we move over into the Blaster deck, and I once again struggle to actually get the cellophane off. I know there's a little tab, but the little tabs just don't work. Like, I love whoever invented the tabs. I hope they, they're very happy with it. But, but those tabs have never worked. And the technology seems to have been stale for a while now. I um, I don't have great faith in them, if I'm honest with you. Now here, we get a little instruction manual. Just teaches you how to play. More in-depth than the ones that we actually had in the Wave 1 starter. So that's quite nice. And then again, we see a very similar thing. We've got a full three copies of Daring Counter-Attack, an exclusive card. A full three copies of Interpret the Airwaves. A full three copies of Obstructive Rhythm. And here's a fun one. Three copies of Recover Cassette. Now you might notice that Recover Cassette was actually in the Soundwave deck as well. It was. You get two play sets. I mean, to be fair, Recover Cassette is a flat out phenomenal card. I mean, if you've got Blaster or Soundwave on the battlefield... You may put one of your mini cassettes from the battlefield under it, repair two damage from one of your characters, and put this card in your KO area. The only card we have that goes in your KO area, incidentally, when it's used. But it also heals the mini cassette when it goes under. That's pretty good. We then have two copies of Flamethrower, three copies of Force Field, two copies of Grenade Launcher, two copies of Incoming Transmission, two copies of Zap. Three copies, excuse me, two copies of Backup Beam. Three copies of Escape Route. A third copy of Backup Beam. That got a bit confusing. Three copies of Handheld Blaster. Three copies of Pep Talk. Two co three copies of Vaporize. And two copies of Basic Combat Protocol. A more orange deck. Bit of blue in there, but a more orange deck. And obviously Force Field because Ramhorn can attach a white armor. Kind of important. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the deck. It's a great, great introduction. If you want to get into the Transformers trading card game, this is actually the only starter set they've released, which gives you two full decks. We've got Metroplex and Devastator that each give you a full deck. And we've got the Wave 1 and Wave 2 starters, which give you... To, which give you a deck which can be split into two. But we've not actually had any other products which give you two full decks. This gives you two full decks. I love it. The Omnibots, I don't think the Omnibots are wonderfully competitive. Blaster, the early signs are that it is a genuinely competitive card with which you can make a genuinely competitive deck. You should consider, if you're a serious competitive player, you should pick this up for Blaster and the exclusive cards. It is worth it. If you're a serious competitive player only, I'll be honest with you, there's an argument to not get the Omnibots. I am not telling you they're not going to be competitive. It is too early to make that assertion. I am telling you that from early testing and early results, the Omnibots don't look great. They look fun, and I think you should get them for that reason. And if you're a collector, 
the fact of the matter is these are available at San Diego Comic Con. And they're available on Hasbro Pulse. But that's it. They're gone now. So if you're a serious collector, you're going to need them in your collection. If you're not a serious collector, I mean, if they ever get good, the price will skyrocket. So if you wait until they're good, you might be out of luck. And that's a pain. But I would say that the early signs are they're not going to be amazing. But you never know. You never know what's going to be released in the future that could change that. But I do think you need the Soundwave and Blaster deck. If you don't care about the Gen 1 art, the regular version is going to be very, very easy to get hold of. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to the lovely folks over at Transformers HQ for sending these over. I am incredibly grateful. Those guys are awesome. And I do realize how lucky I am that they sent them over. And it is very much appreciated. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I would appreciate personally, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy. And consider checking out the Patreon if you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, etc. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wassy Plays. <laughs>